Welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3, Episode 12. So, this episode is going to be another one of her fun days. We seem to have a pattern with work, where every other day is a day of work. So I was kind of hoping to just enjoy another day off. And of course, as we start every morning with our usual bathroom ritual, we have to be nice and clean to start the day. Mariana's having a nice shower today. And away we go for breakfast. I always forget to pay the bills. It never fails. I foolishly can uh, think that, you know, she's on a boat. If she's on a boat, she likely owns the boat. So I don't see why I would be paying rent, but I suppose it's for the, the land, or the space on the dock. But again, I don't understand why the price will go up depending on the items that you have in your boat. Maybe it's an insurance thing, who knows, but I think that's pretty retarded. That is a really nice kitchen. I know I'm kind of biased because I made it, but I do really, really like her kitchen and dining room. Such a nice view. Mm. What can I say? Only the best for my family.
Yes, you have batter in a bowl. So our wonderful chef Ariana is going to make pancakes oh, again. Ah, Davi. I know I should really mix up what she eats. You don't want her to have the same thing all the time. But when she's first learning the cooking skill, I find that you don't really have too too much of a selection in terms of what to make. As she advances, I will be able to buy recipes and such from the store and expand of course what I can or cannot make. You know, I've made pancakes about a thousand times in my lifespan. Okay, maybe not that many times, but I've made pancakes a lot. And I wish I was that good that I was able to flip them in the air and <laughs> catch them in the pan again. Unfortunately, I have to use a spatula. It. Now, Ariana did recently save another sim. So I think she deserves a nice, quiet day off. Nothing too fancy, nothing too dramatic. Just a nice, quiet day off. Her life is going to get really hectic in the next little bit. So it's probably a good idea that we give her some downtime when we can. There's our housekeeper. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he'll clean up our house a bit. Mm. As I've said mm -hmm. before, there are quite a few different social interactions that you can have with other sims. What exactly it is that you can or cannot do depends on your sim's personality as well as how well they know the other sim. Oh, that's nice. Ariana's going to actually clean up her own mess for once.
Oh, and her dish from yesterday, too. That's impressive right there. No laziness for her today. So once she's done putting the dishes in the dishwasher, we're going to go talk to our housekeeper. I noticed that they are physically attracted to each other, so I thought I would take a chance and see if they would actually hit it off personality-wise. Not every sim that's attracted to another sim physically will be compatible with that sim on a more intellectual level. Zebeb, Dezgolovni, Targlov, Gwazin, Diblif. Larg de Yarb, Porbidorg, for moobs a zeba. Nargla, Miglo, Salachi, Bena, Wizdazi, <laughs> Trezzy. There we go. Let the conversations begin. So far, so good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so let's talk to him a little bit more. I'm basically just trying to get a feel for his personality type. If they have things that they could talk about and get along with, then it's not so bad. But if there's only one or two topics that they could talk about, then they likely won't get along very well in the long run. So I'm trying to find her a more longer lasting relationship. Not necessarily marriage, but at least something a little bit longer lasting. So there's, I almost called her Tinkerbell, <laughs> there's Ariana playfully pestering her housekeeper. Apparently he thinks it's cute. So we need to build up our body skill point, athletic skill point, sorry, for our job. So I figured today we would play around with the training dummy that we got from China. As you can see, she immediately changes into her gi. Now, I did X that out because I wanted her to project an aura. I was hoping that it would potentially help her to gain the skill points faster. So once she projects that aura, she can go back to training with the training dummy. Mm. 
So today we are projecting the aura of creativity. Now I have had a fairy before and I know that you could at least get another one called the aura of body and mind. Now the aura of body and mind is the best for this sort of thing because it makes your skill points go up faster. But I thought that this might actually help us too. It may or may not. I'm not 100% sure but it was worth a try anyways. If nothing else, it will at least give us some skill points in terms of our fairy magic as well. Something I noticed about fairies is that they really, really like the moon. So they do like the outdoors. If you want your fairy to live indoors, kind of like what I did, they do like the big, big windows because then they'll have the moonlight shine in on them no matter where they are. So they tend to really appreciate that sort of stuff. <sighs> So when she's done training with that, I will tell her to stop projecting the aura. And then we'll find something else for her to do. Which is likely go to the bathroom because her bladder is going low. Unfortunately, a sim day is not nearly long enough, kind of like real days. There's never enough hours in the day. Well, there's never enough hours in the sim day either. fourth thing is starving for moonlight because there is no moon out tonight which kind of sucks to be her because there's absolutely nothing I can do about that and that's just something that happens with fairies when there is no moonlight I'm sure that werewolves would react similarly however I have never actually played with a werewolf in order to tell you that for sure So we're getting close to the cutoff point where we will cross out her current action just because she really has to pee and we don't want her to pee pants. So we will stop projecting the aura, go to the bathroom, and of course after we go to the bathroom we wash our hands. And then I figured I can deal with the laundry. Since I'm in there anyways, it's probably a good time to do it. It takes us an X amount of time to walk from, or fly in this case, from one end of the house to the other. In order to avoid wasting time, I tend to do everything I can within the area when I can. It doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes I have to return and such, but for the most part it works out like that. I was originally going to take Ariana scuba diving today, or at least snorkeling, because you have to build up your snorkeling skill before you can go scuba diving, but as you can clearly hear, it is thunderstorming outside, so I've decided that that's probably not the best place for her to be right now in a thunderstorm. You know, I don't really feel like getting struck by lightning today, so 
after she's done in the bathroom and with the laundry, I figured we could maybe take this time to work on gaining some skill points from the TV. From the looks of things outside, it looks pretty nasty. I think it's going to get worse before it gets better. It's times like this I'm grateful that we have an indoor living establishment opposed to an outside arrangement. Sims don't generally like to get soaked. Not unless they're jumping in a pool or running through a sprinkler. And as you can see, she's still wearing her key because I did not bother to tell her to take it off. <laughs> Gotta love how her wings clip through the back of the couch. They really didn't bother to plan out the the orientation of the fairy's wings very well. They could have had them bend around her or something, but instead they just let them go right through the couch. I noticed that with certain clothes, it does the same thing. For example, if you wear a very high-cut boot and you're wearing, say, a skirt, then if the skirt intersects with the top of the boot, you might have some clipping there when she walks around. So as you can see on the TV, she is currently watching a cooking show. I figured we would use this opportunity to build up some of her cooking skills and hopefully get some new items to cook in the kitchen with her. that square up on the wall there is a burglar alarm. I'm not sure if burglars would actually come and try to steal stuff from your houseboat, but I figured it was worth a shot anyways just to see if that would actually happen. So I did put a burglar alarm in there just to be safe. Now, Ariana is a good sim. She has the good trait in her personality. Basically what that means is that she will go out of her way to help another sim and to do good fortune to others. So she has the opportunity to donate to charities when she clicks on the mailbox. Well, when I click on the mailbox. So I did that. I told her to donate to a charity because she wants to make a donation. I'm not sure what your sim would gain out of that, but it's still pretty interesting nonetheless because that's something that you can only do if you have the good trait. Now I did notice also if you have the evil trait that you can donate to certain evil charities that take things away from people. 
So you can donate to charities as well with your evil, but it's the reverse type of charity where they do harm instead of good to people. So she's going to donate to a charity right now. And look at that. She donates to a charity and she gets a halo. <laughs> so I suppose that means that Ariana is somewhat of a saint. It should be interesting to see who she settles down with. So it is time to eat. So these rewards here are special rewards. You get points to go towards these rewards every time you accomplish a task that the character wants. So they give you special things, like there's different types of treatments, there's different types of fun items like a hover bed that you can purchase. Um, they're not really necessary to play the game, but they do add an element of surprise because you can kind of fine tune a sim's personality by adding different ones of those. I mean, if you wanted to play with genetics, for instance, and you wanted a sim to be more fertile and to have, say, twins or triplets, then you can give them a fertility treatment and that would help them to have twins or triplets. If both parties the guy and the girl both have the fertility treatment, you are much, much more likely to have twins or triplets. But beware, you could end up with more sims than you can handle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see the lightning and I think to myself, please don't break the glass, but I'm not even 100% sure that that's possible. I've heard of some things, like scenarios in this game that are out there that I never would have thought possible, and then I think to myself, well, would this other scenario be possible then? Who knows? <laughs> Just because it happens to one sim doesn't necessarily mean it'll happen to all of them.
So there we go, we're going to eat something. And then it is time to slowly get ready for bed. I suppose we should eventually drive our houseboat somewhere, but currently I kind of like our location because we're right off the main island, so it makes it really easy to get around. And of course, before we go to bed, we need to use the bathroom. I would ordinarily tell her to have a shower here because our hygiene's pretty low, but her energy is even lower than that, so we're just going to tell her to go ahead and wash her hands, brush her teeth, and of course, go to bed. Gotta love the glitches where she's like in the counter. It looks like Ariana had a nice day off from work today, which is good because it's nice to enjoy your time, no matter what you're doing, really. So this pretty much concludes another Let's Play The Sims 3 with Ariana Summers. So thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to click on subscribe and comment below. Thanks again, guys. Have a good one.